Okay, I have my monster here, and I've added some extra fun things, a little bowler hat, arms. Um, I still have some cleanup to do, but I wanted to show you how to open the mouth. Now, all your projects have to have at least a hole. So if you have no clever way of figuring out how that hole can be used within your sculpture, meaning like that hole is purposeful and part of the design, then you could just cut a hole at the bottom so that it isn't visible, but that hole ensures that your project won't explode in the kiln. So um, I'm actually going to um, use the hole as my mouth. So I kind of want to draw that out first. And you can always kind of erase it if you don't like what you're doing just by blending. I'm just using my toothpick here to help me out. Okay, so I have that drawn out. Now um, I'm just going to use, you can use a toothpick, you can use uh, like a butter knife. Um, but the toothpick is so small that it actually works out pretty well. Okay, so I just go around and trace that all the way through. And it's going to be a little goobery. Um, so you do want to spend some time cleaning that edge up, smoothing it out so that it isn't sharp. Um, those edges that have really sharp um, surfaces are could actually cut you. So you want to make sure that that's a little more rounded and soft. Um, and if you wanted to, you can actually kind of play and open up that mouth a little bit more. If this is going to be like a candy jar or something that you're going to um, use to put something in or for placing, I don't know, a spoon for your oven for a spoon rest, you could kind of play around with pinching further and stretching that mouth out even more. Okay, so you just want to make sure that the edges are looking good and smooth, not too sharp, and that you do take some time cleaning up the inside because now this is a visible part in here. Um, and a good artist is always going to consider all surfaces important. So take some time um, to smooth that out. 